with a best-selling book under my belt, one co-authored book picked up by a publisher due out later this year, another book in the works, and creator of the bestseller profit system on how to become a best-selling self-published author. I've learned a thing or two about writing and marketing books. If you have dreams of writing your own business book, there are three important things you need to know to be successful in making your dream of becoming a best-selling author a reality. Number one, there's only one person and one person only in the way of you not getting your book into the hands of those who need it most. So who is that person? You are. There are millions of people who say they want to write a book and only a fraction who actually do. Now the plus side um, of writing your book now is that technology is making it easier than ever to write and self-publish your book all the way to the bestsellers list. If you think that your book isn't quite good enough, think again. Um, and just get started by getting your ideas and thoughts on paper. Now, if you're not good at typing, that's okay. Use a speech recognition software like Dragon to turn your talk into text. The other thing you need to know, the first question isn't how your book is gonna get noticed. The first question to ask yourself is why do you want to write the book? Your why is one of the most important questions you need to answer. It will keep you inspired throughout the entire process of writing your book. It's also the very first question many interviewers, broadcasters, and radio show hosts will ask you when they interview you once your book is launched. Your why should be bigger than yourself. When you tell others your why, it should inspire them. When asked the question of why you want to write your book, many people just respond that they have a compelling life story. Still others say that other people have encouraged them to write about their life. That's all great, but here's the bad news. There are a lot of authors with a compelling story. To make your book stand out, you will need to identify exactly what makes your story and your topic unique. So what is the compelling message or theme that no other book has captured? When I was writing Me, Myself, and Why, The Secrets to Navigating Change, I realized that there were a lot of books that discussed the theory behind navigating change. So I decided to give my readers practical tools to build a life they love regardless of their circumstance. In addition, I included thought-provoking questions they could ask themselves about their own life, making my book more interactive rather than prescriptive. To this day, I receive letters and emails from my readers who use my book as a resource guide. And whenever they experience a particularly challenging life event, they return to those self-reflection questions at the end of each chapter. And these questions coach them to stay focused and uh, on their life vision and even on what's most important in their life. And since they also use those built-in tools, they, they read and they apply the questions differently depending on what they're creating or going through in life. So instead of purchasing another self-help book, they end up purchasing a book with staying power. And finally, becoming a best-selling author is part of a systematic process. To be successful, you have to go beyond just, just thinking about writing your book. You must take action. And one of the best ways to get started is to imagine. Imagine a reader has just finished the last sentence of your book and closes the book. So write down what you want your reader to feel, think, or do once they finish reading your book. The next steps are all up to you. I'm Lisa Manini. Until next week, create a great life. Bye now.